technology products and services have become more prevalent in our professional and personal lives, so has the need for IT to be as ubiquitous as the services and products that they support. What IT does and how it does it is transforming. Typically, IT used to have manual steps in an end-to-end -end process. Now that process is becoming completely automated. So IT is becoming much more efficient at what it used to do. With the latest advances in technology and services, it's now very, very easy for any part of the business to go outside and, and purchase or use X as a service, anything as a service. So you can use this kind of capability on a short-term basis to decide whether or not that's a capability you want internally, or if it's just a short-term need, you can tap into it, and then once you're finished using that service or capability, you can stop and not have to worry about the consequences of no longer using that service. The healthcare industry is a perfect example of the changes that are taking place. The explosion of wearable devices is just starting. And again, if you think about the analytics and the information that needs to be pulled back from those devices in a very secure manner, stored in, in, a, in a secure place, made available to the physician and or other service providers, medical service providers. The physician is not an IT expert. The patient or the end user is not an IT expert. However, all these devices, all, all of these technologies are the type of products and services that the IT organization supports today. And IT is in the middle of that. The digital economy is changing businesses and entire industries. And IT needs to transform itself in order to keep pace with the business.